Hey, yo, so today we got ourselves a video that a lot of people keep asking me about. Like, they keep, like, asking me, Carlos, like, what are some good cards that I can get right now in my team so that I can go 12-0? Like, I already ended up going 12-0. I did it the first time around. Like, I didn't lose any games. I won, you know, all 12 in a row. And I want to give you guys, like, some really good players that I personally have used. And, uh, and you know, compared to, like, other players, they're, like, the best ones you can get. Like, they range from rubies to amethyst. Um, I do want to make also a list for like budget bothers for those that don't have that much MT. This list right here is a little bit more, you know, towards the people that can afford players in the auction house. Um, you should already have a lot of MT anyway. I showed you guys a lot of good filters on the channel. If you haven't already, check those out. Uh, speaking of videos, check out the video that I uploaded yesterday with three pink diamonds in the starting lineup. I did a gameplay on that. Check it out if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, so this right here is going to be a list of the top five players that I think you should get. I'll also be shipping after this video, guys, if you have any more questions. You know, twitch.tv slash Story. Don't forget to, like, also comment down below, like, any other players that you guys think you should add to your team. Like, help each other out in the comments. Like, if you think a really good player, you know, should be added to, like, people's teams, you know, comment down below. Again, if you guys do want to see, like, an updated list of, like, top five rewards that you need or, like, top five budget ballers, then leave a like on the video. Um, that way I know you guys want to see it. And uh, let's just get, you know, let's just get right into it. Again, these are going to be... You know the top five cards that I personally have used and I recommend them like like you need these cards in your team And you will definitely go 12 and 0 like you're not gonna lose like these cards They're amazing and I'm gonna tell you why every single one and I'm also gonna you know I'm also gonna show you guys the stats as well So uh, if you guys do also want to see like a uh, maybe like a lower like a lower end You know lineup because I also have like some of some of those players too So if you guys want to see that leave a like on the video if you want to see more tips like this leave a like subscribe to the channel all that good stuff and I mean, let's get right into it. The first card that I want you guys to go get right now, like, like this card isn't even that expensive, and he has to be the best card that I've played with so far this year, and that, of course, is going to be Porzingis. Like, this guy, like, run him at center, by the way. I run him at center. Uh, power forward isn't bad either if you have someone else you like at center, but this card at center, he's big. He's, like, 7'3". The three badges that you need on this card are deep range dead eye, catch and shoot, and pick and popper. Run pick and pop. Like, I, I know it's cheesy, but, like, that's how you're going to win in Unlimited. Like, my team Unlimited is cheesy already. People are off-balling. Pick and pop with Porzingis. He's not going to miss. Those are three badges you need on him. Um, I ended up telling Cash about it, and guess what? He ended up going 12-0. So that right there tells you that it works. Uh, the, the badges are also pretty cheap, too, with everybody getting them in triple threat. Uh, we'll go through the stats really quickly. Uh, his defense isn't that, you know, great. But this year, like... I mean, defense is overpowered anyway, so like, you don't have to worry about that. The rebounding is good. Driving thing is pretty good. The three-pointer is an 80. Like, I tell you guys, like, with those three badges that I listed, he gets greens. Like, even, even if the player, like, if your opponent contests, like, it's a green. Like, all day, every day. So definitely pick him up. Uh, he comes with five bronze badges, but again, the three ones that you need are deep range that I catch and shoot and pick and popper. Definitely get those. Um, I also recommend House of Rebounder since you run him at center. So just keep that in mind. We're going to add that guy to my team over here really quickly. There we go. Porzingis. So that right there is going to be, uh, you know, card number one that I definitely, like, <laughs> like, you need this card on your team for sure. Now, another card that I personally feel like you need on your squad as well is going to be, you need, like, a, you know, you need someone that can play defense too and that can also shoot. And that, of course, is going to be the Clay Thompson as I mess up the picture right there. But uh, Clay Thompson, you got to pick this card up next. This guy, like... His release is so easy. Like, it's literally the simplest release in the game. Um, same with Porzingis. Like, all the players that I'm going to show you guys on this list, like, the releases, like, anybody can release them. Like, they have some of the best ones. Uh, with this one, again, uh, you get, you know, three-point shots. That's what you want. You want to be able to spread the floor. He has a dynamic duel with Steph Curry, which is really good. And uh, the, the three badges that I would recommend on this card would obviously be catch and shoot, um, deep range dead eye. And probably limitless range. Like, the shooting guard always gets open, like, at the top of the three-point line. They don't really, like, my, my shooting guard doesn't really get open in the corner, so I never give him corner specialist. But if you get, like, a play, you know, run that corner specialist. Not a bad uh, badge either to have on Clay Thompson. But this card, though, definitely get him. Uh, you know, so, so far, Porzingis and get yourself a Clay Thompson. Now, these cards, these two are ranging about, like, 15K, a little bit lower. You can definitely slam in the, in the auction house. They're not expensive at all, so, you know, play some triple threat. You know, do domination, snipe in the auction house, get some MT. Simple. Now we're going to get a little bit more to the, uh, you know, expensive side. And the next card is going to be someone that I at first thought he was, like, I thought he, like, wasn't good. But then I played with him, and that card is going to be Rudy Gay. This card, guys, 
Like, I green with this card. Like, every single shot. And he goes with, you know, gold badges. This card, get him. Like, if you can afford him, get him right now. Again, if you guys do want to see a list of, like, budget ballers, uh, like a top five, leave a like on the video. I'll be showing you guys, you know, that next. But Rudy Gay, like, oh my, like, you, you guys know Rudy Gay. His release is the best in the game. Like, I don't think any player in the game has a better release than this card. And if you run plays, or if you just get him open, or if you just pull up on the fast break, he is going to green every single shot. If you've been seeing my streams lately, I green with this card every single time. I don't miss. And it's because of the release. The release is very important. The defense isn't that great on this card, but again, like defense doesn't really matter this year in terms of like the stat because like it's already overpowered. Like even people like Curry, they can play defense. Rudy Gay can play defense. Um, you know, some of the batters that I would definitely get on him. I think he already comes with most of the like the good ones that you would need, but just you know, make sure you have corner specialist, corner specialist, uh sorry, corner specialist, catch and shoot, and I would probably give him limitless range and the branch that I um, but I think he has like some of those already in the 10 gold badges. But this card though, guys, and he can drive to the basket at will. But well, he has some of the nastiest like dunk animations too. So definitely this card, it's a little bit more expensive, but you, you need this card on your squad. You gotta get him. And I'm gonna add him to my team real quick. Uh, Rudy Gay right there. I'll show you guys, you know, my lineup in a second. Um, but then, uh, now we're gonna go back to, uh, you know, another three point shooter, which is of course going to be Steph Curry. Now, I know you're probably like, wait, Carlos, like, Steph Curry, like, last year, he was trash. And, yeah, he was. Like, all the all the small point guards were horrible. But this year, it's a whole different playing field. This card right here is amazing. Like, I kid you not. Like, I literally, this guy, like, with, you know, um, with gold limitless range, deep range dead eye, you can literally pull up from half court, and he makes them. And then if you get takeover badge, it's over. Like, this guy can also drive to the basket. He has a really cheesy layup, uh, you know, package. Definitely recommend this card this year. You can use small point guards again. The defense isn't that great, but it doesn't matter. The defense is already OP, and he also is a dynamic deal with Clay Thompson, so that also gives you like a boost right there. I'll show you guys the boost real quick with Clay Thompson. Nothing too crazy, obviously, but still a boost. Definitely recommend it. Uh, but this card again, you want to give limitless range, deep range to that eye. Uh, if you if you like dribbling, you know max out ankle breaker and give Tyler the score as well. But you really only need like deep range to that eye and limitless on this card. But definitely pick him up. I know he's a little bit expensive right now. Because um, everybody's starting to find out that this card is literally one of the best cards in the game. Uh, especially right now he's an amethyst. So definitely pick him up. Uh, so, so far we have what? Curry, Clay, Rudy Gay, Porzingis. Now we need... Uh, Porzingis was actually our, our center. So now we need a, a four. And uh, now I don't know about you guys. But I like running like a stretch four. I've always done it since like I started playing my team. And that's just how I run. And the best power forward that you can run right now, in my opinion, is going to be obviously Kevin Durant. He's been, you know, he's been my power forward for like as long as I can remember. This card is also one of those cards that you want to have limitless range, the branch that I catch and shoot on, and you will not miss. Like if you do a pick and pop with him, he's not gonna miss. Pick and fade, he's not gonna miss. Like this card, like all these cards that I'm showing you guys have some of the best releases. Even Curry, he got an updated release this year. Amazing. Definitely recommend it. Kevin Durant should be your final player. Um, now, you don't need all of these cards. Obviously, you know, if you have different, you know, opinions, you can let me know down below in the comments some other, uh, you know, some players that you think are pretty good. But these are the players that I think that you, like, if you have these cards, you're going to go 12-0. Like, you're not going to lose to any of these guys that have, like, emeralds. Or even if they have Emmys. Like, some people are running some other Amethyst players that I'm just like, why? Like, Shane Battier. Like, people are running Shane Battier, which is a pretty good card. Don't get me wrong. But, but Rudy Gay is miles better i played with shane Batty. his release is a little too slow for my liking he's got to be like wide open for you to take that shot uh, he's a good defender but rudy gay though man like he can be like he can put up he can pull up from anywhere dude on in transition in the corner even if people are contesting he's still gonna green so this is why i i feel like these five players right here are definitely your go-to cards in 2k19 if you want to go 12 and 0 if you don't want to go 12 and 0 then you know Go play triple dead or something, you know, domination, do all that stuff. But this right here, though, guys, this is going to be the top five. Let me show you really quickly. So this one right here should be what your team looks like. This was the team that I ended up going 12 and all with. Um, I did have, like, other players off the bench. They were more of, like, the budget side um, that I really enjoyed. Uh, again, if you guys do want to see that video uh, with, like, the best budget ballers or maybe, like, a top five, like, reward players, leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Again, guys, pick up all these cards. They're amazing. Um, and if you have any other players that you think are good, um, help each other out in the comments uh, and all that good stuff. 
And that is going to be the video, guys. If you enjoyed that, leave a like, subscribe, all the good stuff. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, on my bed, flexing with the bill. Roses in my wallet, and I'm flexing it for real. Racks and racks and racks, I look like rookie of the year.